and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so you want to learn how to play minesweeper well it's pretty simple but first we need to find out how to play minesweeper well it depends entirely on your system you can go download minesweeper or you can just play it online by googling minesweeper and in here you go you'll have to see a little minesweeper game and we're going to use this as an example if i say play then here you can choose your difficulty but for the sake of this video i'm going to switch it to easy and believe it or not but their hard is actually really hard but anyhow if we go here to easy now first thing you should do is you should pick a random block and just click and wow we already selected a lot so the point of the game is to flag all of the bombs so all of the mines you have to flag them now you have to right click to flag as you can see now we only have nine flags left now, how do you know there's a bomb somewhere? Well, all of these numbers tell you that. This number, this number, and this number means that they're all touching one bomb. And since this is only touching one bomb and there's only one green layer of grass here, that means this is a bomb. Which means since this one is only touching one bomb and it's already a touching a bomb there, that means this can be selected and we're safe. The same can be said here. The sides are always the easiest because of how the ones are positioned. We can check that, and we can check that, and we can check that. And as you can see, this one is not touching bomb. And this one right here is also not touching a bomb. Because it's touching this side one, it's touching this one, and it's touching that side one. That is how they work. So all of these, they basically all trigger for that one right there. And since this one isn't touching this, this, or this, or since it's touching this and that's a bomb, that means this and this is safe. This is touching that right there, and this one here is also touching that right there. So this, 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 and this is safe, because this one is touching that right there. This one right here is touching three bombs. Can you guess where that third bomb is? If you guessed here, then you're correct, because this three is now touching three flags. One, two, and three. This two is touching two flags one and two which means this and this is safe because they couldn't be bombs since this two is already touching these two this one right here that's a bomb that one is already touching that one which means that's not a bomb and this three is touching two which means one of these two has to be a bomb here one of these two has to be a bomb and let's see here since one of these two has to be a bomb and this two is already, already touching air. I know one of these two has to be a bomb because that one is touching these two. And this two can only touch two bombs. But since this two can only touch two bombs and one of the two bombs is one of these two because that one can only touch one of these two. That means this is safe. Because that two might be touching that one but that one tells us that there's a bomb here. And this two is already touching a bomb here. Which means these has to be a bomb. And you can just use this to kind of figure out where and where there is not a bomb. There's a bomb because that too can touch two bombs and there's only two patches of grass left. And the numbers will never lie to you. If the number says there are three bombs, then there are three bombs. So here, that's a bomb. Now it's touching three flags and there's only three patches of grass. This is already touching three, so we can just select those two. This two is touching two, as you can see right there, which means that is not a bomb. But this is a bomb, which means this right here, that's not a bomb. And there we go, we won. And we did it by kind of figuring out how the numbers tell us which is a bomb and which is not. So if we do it again, as you can see here, these should be fairly simple to now figure out because as you can see, we already know how they are working. And once you figure out how they work, it's so simple to kind of figure out what to do next because you finally know how they work. But yeah, that is how you play Minesweeper. You just use these numbers. That three means it's touching three bombs. One, two, and there. So let's say this right here. That's a three. That means all of these patches around it, they are probably what can be considered a bomb. And of course, if you touch a bomb, then you lose the game. But yeah, that's how you play Minesweeper. It's fairly simple. It's kind of straightforward. You just need to see what the numbers are pointing at and then you say which, whoops, and you say which is a bomb. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoy. I can now play Minesweeper.
and I'll see you all again in the next video.